Welcome to Kids Fishing. In this episode, we take a look at how to teach a child to cast a fishing rod. And I really didn't appreciate exactly how difficult it was going to be to teach a small child to cast. And I didn't appreciate how much I'd learned over the years of fishing that makes it feel just so easy casting a fishing rod. And you really appreciate the individual steps that you need to learn in order to cast the fishing rod accurately. So let's take a look at how I taught my child to cast, or at least how I started to teach her to cast. And it will take quite a lot of time for her to build up those skills in order for her to be able to effectively cast without catching a snag and getting her line to the fish. So the key ingredients for learning how to <laughs> learning how to cast. are obviously a, a fishing rod, some sort of sinker, in this case I've just used the temp peg, and then in the centre for them to cast into the circle. So whether it's food or maybe a bit of competition. So in this case we are using a park or an open space to uh, look at how to cast. You don't really have to worry about which direction the sinker or the weight that you're casting ends up in. The first thing that you need to think about when you're learning to cast is the way that you grip the rod and reel. It's important to think about the position of your hand and to make sure that you've got it correct. The reel seat should sit between your small finger and the next finger, allowing your index finger to effectively retain the nylon. So that's the finger that holds the tension in the line when you're casting. And the line should sit just on the, the pad of your index finger. And the reason that it sits on the pad is that when you release the line, all you have to do is point your finger or just relax the tip of your index finger and the line will automatically slip off your finger. Uh, when you're looking at a child uh, holding the rod, one of the considerations is the size of their hand. So I've got quite a large hand and I don't have a problem holding the, the reel and rod, but uh, my daughter does. Her hands are just too small to actually have the reel seat between her little finger and the next finger and have her index finger on the line. So she's holding it further up the grip, uh, which allows her index finger to hold the line. So then the next step, once you've got the grip right, is to reel in the excess line, say a foot, 15 centimeters of line off the tip of your rod to the sinker or weight. Then your index finger comes up onto the line and forms some tension. The other hand then pulls the base um, of the reel back so now effectively you've got free flowing line but your finger is holding the tension at this point your arm then goes back into the casting position now there are a, a number of styles of casting so you can cast with your your arm pointed vertically up and the rod overhead you can cast sideways where the, the rod is pointing slightly sideways and then also a reverse cast where you're actually holding the rod backwards and you flick it out forwards. Now each of those particular cast methods are appropriate for different types of fishing or when you've got stuff in the background behind you that you don't want to catch or, or whatever. Um, so probably the overhead cast is the easiest to teach a child because all they're doing then is going from 90 degrees pointing straight up and dropping the, the rod down in a flicking action and releasing the line off the tip of their finger. The key thing is to make it easy for them to learn to cast and because of this I think taking a step method is probably the best way because then they can remember the incremental steps. So having first hold the reel and rod correctly, second reel in the excess line to the correct length, third put the index finger onto the line and pull in the tension. Fourth, 
flip over the bail arm, five, move the hand to the backwards cast position, six, swing the arm forward, and seven, release the fingertip so that the line spools off the reel. So if you keep it in a step way, then they can remember the steps and hopefully remember the order of them. Now another critical thing is also the timing around when they actually release their finger. And it's a little bit more difficult than you might realize when you're very first learning. So it will probably take them a bit of time and practice to actually get that forward casting action and release the finger uh, and line at exactly the right time so that the sinker goes in the right direction. We'd love to hear feedback on your experiences of teaching children to cast and what methods you found best and easiest. So good luck fishing and until next time. Thanks for watching another episode of Kids Fishing. Please subscribe to the Kids Fishing channel for more great fishing tips and kids fishing adventures. And leave your comments below, we'd love to hear about your kids fishing adventures.